Hey guys, welcome back. This is Project Life Week 22. Uh, and after 67 days at sea, my April Studio Calico um, documenter kit finally arrived in the country. Uh, I had pretty much given up hope that this was ever going to arrive um, and it showed up. So I had to sit down and immediately start playing. Um, if you know anything about me, you know, patience is not my strong suit. So waiting 67 days for anything um, was kind of torture. Uh, I've just started out with my photos. I've got a couple of empty spots to do a little bit of journaling this week. Um, there were, I'm not really going to write about the week as such. Um, there are a couple of different stories I want to tell relating to kind of different photos. Uh, one of them is this four by six spot down the bottom. So I was a little bit stuck as far as what four by six card I wanted to use. Uh, and in the end, I decided it might be easier to maybe use a couple of the three by four cards rather than one of the four by sixes. The, really the only four by six card that would have allowed me to journal on it was just kind of a gray grid card and I didn't want to do that. So I'm just messing around with maybe using a couple of different three by fours. Uh, and in the end, I'm not going to use any of these. My, my main thing was, and I wasn't sure if my eyes were deceiving me, but they, they are, they aren't deceiving me. Um, the three by four cards are not quite three by four. So, uh, lining up two, three by four cards next to each other is not going to equal a six by four. So in the end, I just went and grabbed, um, just a plain white cardstock four by six that I've got. I just cut them out myself and I'm going to do my journaling on that uh, and maybe layer one of the not quite three by four cards on top of it. Now this photo of Lil, for whatever reason, it didn't print properly and I didn't notice until I sat down to, to film the process video. There was this weird little white kind of strip at the bottom of it. Uh, and so I decided I would cover that up with a little bit of washi tape. It was not a great photo to begin with. Um, we're in the middle of winter here, so it is always dark um and so it was like you know a photo taken under artificial light and it's got that terrible yellow cast to it and it was a tiny bit blurry um in the end I just turned it to black and white it solves so many problems as far as shitty photos go so it's my go-to that's what I did so the washi tape serves two purposes it kind of covers up that uh, misprint down the bottom but also it adds a little bit of color to this black and white kind of photo. Uh, the other thing that I'm going to do is add, actually I must point out though the washi tape is not from this kit. That's from the stamp market. My beautiful friend Alice uh, gave that to me for my birthday. She knows me too well. Rainbow washi. Yes, please. Uh, and then I just added some of those little yellow alphas. I'm going to use a whole bunch of those this week. There's not going to be a whole lot left when I'm finished, but um. These little alphas from Studio Calico are one of the things that uh, when I used to subscribe to their kit um, ended up just in my hoard pile. I, I still have sheets and sheets of them so my goal today is to use as many as possible. I did use my tweezers because they are very very small and just spelled out Monday feels. One of the things that I hadn't even opened in the kit yet was this little pack of kind of die cuts. Um, and while there are some that I like, most of them are not going to be really super usable for me. But one of the things I did decide is I can flip that over and just use it as like a white label for my title card. So that's one of the one of the die cuts that I'm going to use. The other thing that I'm going to use is this Hey Good Looking chipboard. Kind of ironically because, man, that face mask was uh, purple. It looked, uh, looked insane. But um, it worked really nicely under that photo, I thought. I chose that sort of tealy daisy card for that photo because I thought it worked nicely with the photo next to it. Got my mint colored jersey on and I just thought it sort of echoed those colors and that's sort of really what I'm going with this week. Now, one of the stories I will tell this week is the photo of me drinking tea. Um, I know, if you know anything about me, again, I love rainbow, but also I love coffee. Um, but we ended up 
buying this pack of tea and I gotta say I quite enjoyed it so that was definitely deserving of a story my little photo I just adhered onto that pink card and I'm gonna stack a couple of the chipboard pieces um, the first one was just a banner shape and it was that really kind of it's not white but a very light pale gray uh, which I liked better than the orange not a huge orange fan so I used the gray and then I added one of the little um, heart chipboards on top of it so because I was stacking two chipboards I did pull a bit of the backing off the gray banner shape to make it as sort of flat as possible and then I just adhered that down with a bit of smart glue from scrapbook.com um, just because two two layers of chipboard is too much for me in a pocket so that just took some of the bulk out of there now I'm doing a similar kind of alteration here these uh, teal labels are really pretty but not very long and the the phrase I wanted to spell out on here is a little bit longer so I uh, just bumped two of them together but they do have a white edge around them so on the second one I just really carefully trimmed off one side of the white edge with my scissors and then layered them so you can see you can barely see that there's there's two joined on even less so once I add all of these alphas which does take me a little while I told you I was going to add a lot of alphas uh, we went to a basketball game and we had all we had all piled into the arena, um, sat down, and then they discovered that there was water on the court. I will say it, it was it was pouring. It was pouring that day. So, yeah, they discovered a little bit of a puddle, and so they moved the game to the other side of the arena, but not us. So we all sat as far away from the game as you could possibly have gotten. Uh, it was a, a little bit disappointing and kind of hilarious. So I took a photo, that whole court you see in the middle, there's just kids playing there. It's not the actual game. The game's on the other side, the far side. So we should have bought binoculars, I guess. So I'm just spelling out game day far away um, down on those labels. Uh, and so that's what I mean. I use up quite a lot of alphas and there were quite a lot of not e's surprisingly in this one uh, quite a lot of a's and so I end up having to swap from lowercase to uppercase uh, and I did prefer to do it um, as separate kind of sentences I guess so it does differentiate those two phrases uh, but also means I have enough a's to do that whole sentiment now I decide that I will work on my title card. I'm gonna use that label. So I'm gonna be able to use those yellow alphas again. The alphas though don't have numbers on them. So I am gonna to have to go into my stash. And as I was doing this, there's a lot of kind of that teal acre color in this layout. And I was pretty sure I had the perfect kind of alphas in there. And luckily enough, they were on top in the drawer that I thought they were in. So I didn't have to hunt too long for them. These are just cardstock alphas as well they're from doodlebug designs but um i love the size of them they're considerably larger than that yellow um, alpha that i'm using so i like that kind of contrast and it gives me enough room to add that number plus my word and then i'm going to stamp my date stamp underneath there this is one of those weeks that uh, sort of spanned two months so I have to be a little bit careful when I'm stamping so that I can fit everything in there but I just roll my date stamp round to like 2022 uh, so there's no ink it's not going to like smudge onto there and then I can stamp both of those months on there. And I decided not to add that smile and nod little die cut. Uh, I did just go away and do my journaling. I did that straight onto my typewriter. I spent a bit of time last week sort of trying to clean my vintage typewriter and give it a little bit of a tidy up, uh, which did help a bit. <laughs> It's still, it's still fighting me. I really just think it's a little bit too old now. The rollers don't work quite as well, especially when I'm trying to shove these quite thick Project Life cards through it. But I'm going to make it last as long as I possibly can. So because the photo that I've printed for this 4x6 card was, was quite... 
uh, not quite large, but you know, it didn't show a lot of the three by four card that I had behind it. I decided not to waste the three by four card there. Um, I just stuck the photo straight down onto the white card stock, but I decided to echo that washi tape again. So I added a strip at the top of that, then glued my photo down. And then I used one of the stamps from the set that says, let's go outside. And I just stamped that in that moonlight white brilliance ink, just so it wasn't like too visually dominating. I could definitely have stamped it in black because it was on that kind of mid gray background um, but the white just I think is a little bit more subtle. Now my last card here that I well photo that I haven't really done anything with I decided to swap out that smile and nod die cut and I used the one that says making me happy uh, but it has a little label underneath it I just trimmed that off and used it more as kind of a die cut rather than a label and then added a pink uh, chipboard heart on top of there but I gotta say I wasn't loving the kind of line of three hearts through the middle here. I had added a teal one underneath my journaling in that middle card because there was a bit of a gap at the bottom of it and I felt like I should fill it up with something but actually I peeled it off because I like the original layout that I had just not that strip of hearts along the bottom. Instead I am going to add a couple of the hearts back up into my title card just to add that kind of more cool toned pink in there. The title card is a lot of those kind of peachy pinks um, and the cool tone pink is what I've used everywhere else. So I added a little bit to the top, another teal heart and then called this layout all done. I gotta say I love the kit. It was maybe worth the 67 days because this was a really fun and easy spread to put together. Thanks for watching guys. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. If you want to keep watching, there are a couple more videos on screen. Otherwise, I'll see you next time. Bye guys.